Good morning, my boys. Today we are going to have a grammar lesson. It's about inversion. Inversion. Okay, it's like replacements. Replacements. To put something in another place. Okay, uh, I want to know about uh, neither or neither. Neither or neither. Nor. It's about a uh, negative. It's negative. Okay. Uh, when you say I don't do that or that, it's equal. Okay. Uh, so we are going today to deal with neither or neither and nowhere. Okay. Uh, please have a look at number one. Okay, I don't eat meat. I don't eat fish either. Okay, I don't like this or that. So how I will apply the rule? Okay, we have number one, neither, plus helping verb. Neither or neither, plus helping verb. Helping verb am, um, is, are, was, where, will, do, does, did. Plus subject, plus subject plus verb plus verb then nor plus verb then nor plus verb i want you to look carefully at number one i don't eat meat i don't eat fish i started with neither or neither then do then do i eat meat nor fish okay can you see the rule from this example in number one? Neither or neither do. Do here helping verb plus subject I plus verb eat, meet, then nor plus verb uh, plus uh, uh, noun, okay? Or verb, okay? Uh, number two, I don't dance, I don't sing. Neither do I dance nor sing okay neither or neither do i dance nor sing so i can say neither or neither both correct both correct number three he didn't come early he didn't come late okay the helping verb here will be dead in past as he wrote in our example in number three neither did he subject come early nor late number four today isn't monday it isn't friday neither is because i have is neither is today monday nor friday number five he isn't clever he isn't polite nothing of these nothing of these adjectives he is so neither or neither is he clever nor polite okay boys the most important thing here i want you to know i write neither or neither at the beginning then the helping verb and what the subject okay of course the verb which is coming following uh, um, in infinitive form okay number six Sammy didn't come and uh, instead of Ahmed, write he. Sammy and he, not Ahmed, didn't apologize. Neither did Sammy come nor apologize. Okay, apologize means he didn't say sorry for coming late. Number seven, he doesn't borrow, he doesn't lend. Neither does. Because I have does, I wrote does. Neither or neither does he borrow nor lend. Okay, as you see here, neither or neither plus helping verb. Whatever this helping verb, am, is, are, was, where, will, can, uh, did, does, do. Okay, the following page, we are going to continue the same lesson. Number eight, he didn't blame me, he didn't hit neither or neither did of course i have did so i must use it neither or neither did he blame nor hit number nine we don't speak spanish we don't speak french neither or neither do we speak spanish 
or or nor nor French. Number ten. Some people can't. So the helping verb here will be can. Okay. Can read. They can't write. So neither or neither can some people. Okay. Can at the first as a helping verb. Then the subject. Some people read nor write. Number eleven. He didn't write. He didn't telephone. Neither did he write nor telephone. Number twelve and thirteen. Um, it's a little different. Okay, a little bit different. How that? Look at them. Father doesn't drive. Mother doesn't drive. We have the same verb. We have the same verb drive. Not different like the others. For example, in number 11, write and uh, telephone, two different verbs. But in 12, we have two different, ver uh, we have the same, the same verbs. Drive and drive. So look how I will answer it. Neither father nor mother drives. Okay, number 13. Mother doesn't smoke. Father doesn't smoke. The same verb, the same verb. So neither mother nor father smokes. Okay, as if they are one subject. As if mother and father, the same subject, okay? This was neither or neither, okay? The following is about using so and such. Okay, so and such. If you note so and such capital, so we are going to write them at the beginning of the sentence. How I will answer this. But first, have a look. It was a foggy weather. I couldn't see the road. The mountain was so high, I couldn't climb it. She was very beautiful. Everybody liked her. For he was very miser. Miser uh, means um, he uh, doesn't give people any money. Okay, he likes money for himself, of course. He was very miser. He didn't spend a penny. A penny, it's like a pound here. Number five, he was very rich. He could buy a villa. She was very generous. She likes to give people. Uh, everybody liked her. He was such a strong man that he defeated his enemy. He beated them. Okay. Uh, here are the questions. The following page is the answer. Okay, it was a foggy weather. I couldn't see the road. Here the answers. How I use so and such at the beginning. And from the answers you will know the rule. Look at number one. So foggy. Foggy here adjective plus verb. Was. So foggy was the weather that I couldn't see the road, okay? The following, such a foggy weather was it that I couldn't see the road. Look at number one and make a comparison. They are a little different. So plus adjective, then the verb, okay? And after the verb, I wrote the noun, the weather. But in such, after it, what adjective? Then noun, then the verb. Okay? So in so, I write the adjective, then the verb. But in such, I write the adjective, noun, and the verb. Okay? Look at number two. So high was, high adjective, was verb. The mountain that I couldn't climb it. Such a high mountain, a high here, a high, a, a. Okay, you have to add a, the article, a or an. Okay, such a high here, adjective, then the noun, then the verb. Okay, 
such a high mountain was it? Was it? This is the inversion. Okay, you are replacing the verb and put it as the first, then the subject. Was it that I couldn't climb it? Was it? Was it not? It was. Okay? And was the mountain. Okay? Take care of this. Number three. So beautiful was she. Was first, then the subject. Okay? That everybody liked her. Such a beautiful girl was he that was she. Sorry. That everybody liked her. Again, I'm going to repeat. So, plus adjective, then verb. Such, adjective, noun, then verb. Okay. The following, uh, number four. So, miser was he. Was he. Take care. Don't try. So, miser, he was. No, it was he. That he didn't spend a, a penny. Okay, such a miser man was he that he didn't spend a penny. As you see, a miser adjective, man noun, and was verb. In so, so adjective, then verb, then subject. Okay, so rich was he that he couldn't buy a villa, that he could buy a villa. Such a rich man was he that he could buy a villa. In number six, so generous was she that everybody liked her. Such a generous woman or girl or, or lady, whatever you want, was she. I need here a noun after the adjective, then the verb. Was she that everybody liked her. Number seven, so strong was he that he defeated his enemy. Such a strong man, a strong boy, a strong soldier was he that he defeated his enemy. Okay, um, I want you to repeat listening to this video again and again, okay, to understand. And, and I want you to notice the difference, okay, between each sentence. And thank you.